Okay, today I'm going to do just a straight pour with four different colors, and then I'm going to use some. This is uh, airline or air tubing from a what, what you'd use in a fish tank, and I'm going to do some feathering with it. I've done a similar one like this, and I really liked it. Uh, this time I'm going to use. I, I, I kind of changed things up a little bit. I had a bunch of this apple barrel craft paint that I had bought and haven't been using it much. I've been using the Artist Law Flow Acrylic, but I'm going to use some of this with the newer recipe that I've come up with and I'm going to post, uh, matter of fact I'll do that right now, I'm going to post on the screen my new calculator that I made for figuring up how much paint uh, you need to cover a canvas and then also it helps you figure out using my recipe if you want to use it uh, how much of each ingredient. I use Floetrol, glue, the paint, and water and it'll figure up by grams and do everything by weight so it'll show you exactly how much of each ingredient to mix depending on how many colors you need. So you put in the size of your canvas, you put in how many colors you're going to use and then it will calculate over on the right hand side uh, how much of each ingredient that you need for each color. So I'm going to post that on the screen and you can pause it and take a look at it and then if you want a copy of that calculator if you go to my Facebook group page it's Poor Painting by Double Reno Group. So if you search that on Facebook and then join that group and then you go over on the left hand side and there's a files tab and this calculator will be in there so you can pull it up and use it. So I'm going to post that right now. Okay, now I'm going to use this Apple Barrel New Shamrock. These, these came out, I just picked some random colors. I thought it looked cool together. It's going to end up being looking like an Easter egg painting or something. But anyway, it's a, a New Shamrock Green. It is a just a flat yellow, looks like a mustard yellow to me, and then a purple iris, and then a bright magenta. So I'm going to reset up, and then we'll get ready to start pouring, and then we'll feather out and and, and make our edges and everything, all of our, where our paints come together, kind of feather into each other. Okay, I got all my paint stirred good. Uh, there is no silicone in this. That's not really what I'm looking for with this particular painting. And you'll see what I'm done. It gives you this kind of pour gives you very distinct colors. It doesn't mix your colors a whole lot but it still makes a really cool looking pattern. So I'm just randomly going to pour this paint a little bit at a time across this canvas. Now this canvas is gesso too. Uh, I put my own gesso on it, sanded it. I've got a video that shows how I do that. I'll put the link right up here to the top if you want to watch that. Uh, I'm a big believer in preparing your canvases. A lot of that comes from my woodworking background. You know, you prepare your surfaces well before you start working. And so far, my calculator has worked really good as far as getting my uh, the proper amount of paints mixed. I end up with very little excess paint usually. Purple. I think this is going to be a pretty cool looking color. It's going to be very bright. I'm sure some of these colors will mix. I don't have any idea well, if these are going to be off the color charts, what colors these will make together. I just kind of randomly want to get as much surface covered as I can, try not to leave any areas too blank. Because I don't really want to do a lot of tilting on this. So I'm going to try and hit all my corners and my edges pretty good where I don't have to do a lot of moving to get those colors in there. If I get to a point where I feel that I've got enough paint, the, uh, the one of the differences between the, the paints that I use, this paint, the craft paint is definitely thinner than the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So it kind of, it's a little runnier I guess than what my normal paint mix would be. I still put the same ingredients in. And one of the other things I'm doing now too is I put I put wax paper under so I catch all my runoff because I got some stuff I'm going to try making some jewelry with some of my runoff paint. The skins I guess they're called. You know what? I think that's probably plenty of paint for this. So I'm just going to touch up a few places, maybe where I got one color too heavy. 
maybe a little more of the magenta right through there I think that's pretty good so I may save that little extra paint maybe and do a I got a rock that I got on vacation so I'm gonna use that to do a rock in a little bit so from this point I'm gonna go ahead and start tilting and I use my little corner protectors that I cut off of a soft drink box or monster monster box uh, drink monster drinks and I just use the boxes and cut them up these corner protectors work great when you pull that off that paint flows right off the side and gives you really nice looking sides and it doesn't give you any blank spots on your canvas I'm getting some blending of colors but not much and I don't really want blending on this particular I want my colors to try and stay as distinct as possible and one of these days I'm going to put a side camera on here and let you see how this paint flows off these edges when I remove these corner protectors. They're simple to make and they give you really nice corners and edges. Just kind of change the direction of your tilt to get the paint where you need it. One more tilt to this side. Let that build up against that cardboard and then roll down. I'm going to go around and double check my corners and my edges. I need a little bit more. Okay, I got two spots. I got a spot over here on the side that I didn't get really good. Do a little bit of a tilt there. side here. I just broke one of my cardinal rules too. I touched that side. I did a lot more sliding on this one than I intended to do. But so far actually really like what I got out of it. Okay, those are real nice corners and edges there now. Get that just a little bit with my finger. There we go. Alright, let me walk around and check the other side. And I got a spot over here. Let's see if I can just tilt it, touch it with my finger, and then see if I can tilt it just enough to get a, that's the spot that I touch with my fingers, which I shouldn't have done. Okay, that's good on that. Alright, so now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and torch it, and the only reason I'm torching this, get back in the center of the camera, the only reason I'm torching this is just to pop any bubbles. Okay, I'm not really looking for cells or anything. And I, there may end up being some minor cells pop up just from the flow trawl. This is a pretty heavy flow trawl mix, so the flow trawl itself will make some cells, but not much. I'm just mainly looking for popping bubbles. Okay. So now, to me, that's still that's a pretty cool looking painting. But when I'm going to come in, and this, I take this tubing, I'll put one side of my mouth, 
and the other side I just blow into it real gently and I'm just going to move some of this paint around and get some feathering effects. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So that's just a straight pour and then just moving some of that paint around with a little piece of air hose. Uh, I, I switched, excuse me, I switched in the middle. Uh, my piece of air hose was too long. <laughs> it makes a difference so don't get your hose too long. You have to uh, blow a lot harder to get it in there. So anyway, I just kind of mixed some of the paint around. Any Like over here I had a big swatch of just purple and I moved some of the pink and the yellow into it, moved some of the purple out. So anyway, I think it came out really cool. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a little while and then I'll come back and we'll show a close up of it. I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave me any comments, and then you can go to my Facebook page, which is Poor Painting by Double Reno, or my Facebook group, which is Poor Painting by Double Reno group. And if you join that group, you're more than welcome to post your paintings and uh, we can have discussions and talk about what other people have done and share ideas. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe and then I'll show you a close up here in just a second.